Okay, so Mike shut up already, so let's jump into the game in completely silent. One minute passed by, I think. Mr. Streamerman, would you be able to send me some Sardinian TVs, show, etc? <sniffs> Let me see. I wish that uh, Fenu or uh, Vectas will be here. Uh, how the fuck was called? Let me, let me quickly see. Mm. Like... I, I need some time to, to search it. Because all the stuff that is coming out is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. But because most of it is in Italian. Take your time, bro. I'm at work. I need to remember to send it to you then. Send it later. Is it like PT demo? Not really. In some extent, yes. We are in a house that evolves while we get... Uh... uh we get into the story so some pt vibes yes but not really you know pt is very small and this game is getting bigger and bigger while we play so whale pure liminal space shit yeah <laughs> uh, i ate it already the seven you you don't know how much i hate it and now I'm scared because I know that when I click on story, I know how much we have left in this game. And I'm scared that... Eighty... Two percent. We are not that far away from the end, I think. I give you a quick recap. Making stream window very, very small. Ah, uh, don't worry, the noise is gonna be worse than the video. <laughs> uh, basically... Uh, a super quick recap can be basically that this game is... Um, uh, American Horror Story Season 1. We have this house where a lot of shit happened. Uh, and everything goes around uh, the fact that somebody was trying to do a demonic uh, summoning or something uh, that goes after every person that is involved with this house, more or less. Uh, not really the house, not really the house, more like a lot of things. Not gonna explain everything in detail, but... We ended up that we are a person that woke up with a lot of blood in his hands 
and uh, some voices are telling us to do some shit. And this shit is this demonic ritual or whatever we are doing. Uh, the more we are playing the game, so the more we are doing about this ritual, the more this is getting annoyingly horror. So... Let's go. I rage quit the last time. Because after a shitload of jump scare, one after each other, I was like, I swear to God, if I get one more, I'm done because I'm tired. I was tired. Wednesday, when we finished playing this game, I was fucking tired. A lot. And uh, I remember we were into the elevator, we solved a riddle in there. And uh, I don't remember what we needed to do though. And I didn't take any note, that's the worst. But, or maybe yes actually, because... Uh, We do have part of a code that we don't know for what is that and part for the safe. Good morning everyone, been a minute since I've been here, uh, hope all is well. Giorno di giorno, everything is going great. But now we are gonna play the game, so it's going bad, brutally. <laughs> How's it going, Giurno? Giurno. Is Giurno or Giurno? Probably Giurno. Mario Karting 16. Hello. Hello there. As always, long game loading. I think, by the way, that right now what we are doing is finding the code for uh, uh, the room where we left uh, the Holy Marys in a circle. You know, we need to open that. And so far I think we have two numbers, the 5 and the 7. So we need another... Okay, for a second I was sure the game crashed, thank god not. I will be so disappointed if the game ruined my save or something. But uh, the fuck are we? Oh, we are at the entrance. Okay. I have PTSD from last week. Um, we have a key. Uh, let me quickly check the photos. We have the seven. <coughs> <coughs> oh, just to get into the game. Lorna Veo, what is this fault of frame spin off? Dio porco. <laughs> He's not fatal frame. But we do have a camera. We do have a camera. Uh, fuck you. Look if I give a shit. Trying to remove uh, all the pictures. We don't actually need them. Yeah, keep going. Uh, don't need these. These. Don't need these. Oh, yeah, this one were cool. Wanna keep those. Not these, maybe. And from there, all oh, those I want them. Well, I'm telling you guys, we are so deep into this uh, demonic ritual that we are gonna have a lot of jump scares. I warned you. Got scared as well. Though. 
already nervous. Because the game is having a lot of jump scares. Too many jump scares. Too many. So we do have a key, but only God knows. I should turn the power back on first. Okay. I will. Oh, motherfucker, the game didn't save after we turned the power back on. But nice to know that we are having lighting bags. You're the mighty champ, you can do it. I saw your last attempt, you are good, no worries. Pandino, the motto stays the same. Mom raised no fucking pussy. Oh, I remember where we were. We need to open these. Uh, other than the key, what we have? These, the journal, the... Um... Oh, and this concrete block that we don't know what is used for. Hello! Can I come in? God, uh, uh, my body, uh, my hands, this is what the priest was talking about, that thing is, uh, the thing is feeding off of me. Yeah, yes it is. What the fuck does this even mean? TikTok. The house is full of clocks. And this is where we got stuck. We don't have uh, any idea on what to do here. Grandpa used to work in here. And also, we do remember... You see, we have a lot of these, like, what... I don't think we can use anything uh, that we have. But we have plenty of clocks in this house. TikTok promos everywhere, oh my god. Did you guys follow me on TikTok? I post clips in there. It's locked. Well, look if I give a shit, bro. Daisy, Daisy. Okay, back to here. Combination. 9 left, 11 something. And another thing that uh, let me sign as uh, scribbles like that. <sighs> Nothing. We do have about plenty of pictures in here. This door is locked. What if I need to snap a pick of everything? How many of those combinations did you find? Uh, two, but none of them worked so far. This picture is useless. We do have pictures here, but again, unless I need to snap a picture to these. Don't see anything useful. I had those stupid clocks with the view action. They are everywhere. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the main fucking problem here. Upstairs, maybe? I don't know. Let's go around the house. Uh, for how this game is made, I'll say that it's basically impossible we get stuck. So let's just... 
give a check around. The only thing I'm almost sure is that we have no business up here anymore. You motherfucker! You dick, piece of fucking cunt, asshole, motherfucker, shitty bastard. Jesus Christ. But now we have two point of views, why? Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> no, the seven. Mom raised no pussy. Stop it. We have two holes now. You dick. I need something up here, though. Not down. Okay, I won't go into the toilet, sorry. Fuck off. Yeah, that, there's something in that wall, but we do not have access to it. And he's telling me about the clock. What clock, though? Okay, let's get back into the beginning room. Mom raised the pussy, alright. No, 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 no. Mom raised no pussy. We get scared. We shit ourselves, and that's good. See, th there's plenty of this clock everywhere, but no idea what to put in there. Grandpa. And the code we are getting... I, I, you don't understand, I already broke my neck with that fucking jump scare. <sighs> with the code we are trying to get... That's where we should put need it. to find the four digits to open this door. They must be somewhere. I know. And actually should be like five, seven, and other two numbers. Hello. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. I hate those jump scares. They are getting way too often. This is from Grandma's diary. We have nothing in this room. Okay, sorry. I don't remember drawing any of these. Am I going insane? <laughs> Let me go back into the safe room. We have a shovel, the cassettes are useless. The only thing I have inside here is the shovel. We don't have anything else. And this concrete block, or what? So please not close the door on me, thank you. <clears throat> he has something to do with the... With the... This is not a good thing in an horror game. You don't want to put these many jump scares. It's getting more annoying than anything else. 
I get scared, nice, but fuck you. Like, it's just stupid. Is there anything we are missing here? Maybe you're not supposed to be at this point for this... Uh, mm. Looking at the picture... We can assume... Uh, well, no, not really. It's a door, a red door... Or is it a red pendulum? We want to snap a picture at every pendulum we have. Because I, I don't think it's right. We cannot interact with any of these. Because you see, usually when you get close to an interaction, uh, you get the eye, the lock, uh, or something. <clears throat> 12, 25, 40. Where are you picking this up? They are signing the same time, but the pendulum. Well, not really. The drawing. Hmm. Twelve twenty-five. Maybe we need to find a pendulum with 1225. I don't know, it doesn't sound like what this game wants me to do, to be honest. And actually, I don't think we have any pendulum around the house. We can go check the other rooms, but. Go check, go check. Uh, do we? No, we don't even have a key anymore. Uh, I, I was about to say get ready because we are gonna have plenty of jump scare on our way there. This is luck. I wonder if we are gonna die eventually. I have no idea. If you need the combination, you know where to find it. We have this 9 left, 11 right, I suppose. Mosquito. 
I'm trying like one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, three, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Let's slowly rotate it and see if it opens. What should you find three combination at this point? My baby, it was that uh, fuck. How many? Uh, Bo, Amber, John, my son. I'm an old man already, and life has passed to all of us. I'm so proud to see the man you have become. So happy to have deeply enjoyed the two grandchildren that you gave me, Luca and Chanel. Familia Totti, Totti's family, Chanel. Uh, I've right. Sorry. <laughs> I write these letters so that one day you can understand everything that is going on through my mind right now and debunk the myth that I'm a crazy old man. God does exist, and just like him does Satan. All my life I tried hard not to believe, but time has shown me I was profoundly mistaken. Your mother was not sick at all and it couldn't prevent her sad ending from happening. As far as fetched as it sound, Blue Knees is real. Blue Knees is real. Not a single specialist was able to trace down the cause of her condition, not to mention find a treatment to help her fight. I truly wish I could go back in time and tell her I believe you. I keep trying to contact her for over 15 years. I just wanted to speak with her just one last time. Soon we'll meet again and I'll beg her to forgive me. This loneliness reminds me day after day how artists get to live without my most precious and beloved person in the world. At least I can see her face in every room of this huge house. Regarding the book. That's the book I we, we were talking about. I tried to burn it, tear it, bury it, but there's no use bothering. It's, it somehow manages to get back. Anyway, I now keep it by my possession, under locks and keys. I will not allow history to repeat itself. Thank you for being the son I always wanted, I always dreamt to have. Love, your dad, Albert Maxwell. We do have this now. Still have another safe to open, but well. Fuck you. Please, don't tell me we need to go all around the house switching clocks like this. Because the moment I put this, it gets lock and, locked and open the other one. Huh? Doesn't do the... The one in the basement. The one that you mean the 10 in the basement? Get ready for the jump scare, guys. There's gonna be a jump scare out of every corner. We we can walk by looking down, but mom raised no fucking pussy. There's gonna be one here. 
If it just wasn't for the volume. Is the volume good for you guys? Because I'm playing full volume. Just let me know if it's a raping you too much. Because it's a raping me for sure. Nearly mooted you, but not because it's I. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, we should be jump scare safe. Okay. Uh, I don't understand the logic, though, you know? clocks are near other clocks that sign the same time like motherfucker okay this clock uh, signs This should be 11.55, no? Don't pass by, let me see. You're not scaring me, stop it. No cuckoo? Yeah. The one I have right now is 9.30. Thirty. Go search for nine thirty. We can do some time management, but fuck it. Nine thirty. We are looking for nine thirty. Sorry for the jump scare. I mean, why I'm even sorry? Not my fault. <laughs> We don't have a pendulum here, though. Uh, how we decide? I'll say... Let's do the one downstairs as much as we can. And then we get rid of the other clocks. Hmm? To be honest, I would love to have the complete solution. <laughs> because I can't be arsed to solve this riddle, but... 820. 820. 820. There we are. It's here. I think this is supposed to be a jump scare. You know? 7.45 Do we have a 7.45 here? We do not have a 7.45 This is right If the logic is this one This is, should be right We have a 640 here. Uh, so this one is should be right. This one should be, should be right. This is 4... 
something. Four twenty. This is four twenty. Lol. Didn't see any four twenty. So let's do this. Uh, in the basement. Uh, It's 420. Uh, did we see any 420? Sure. And the worst part is that every now and then I don't even understand if it's really trying to kill me. Oh, this is just a dumb fucking stupid jump scare. Like this time, I was sure he was about to kill me. Like there's another clock in the entrance. What I am supposed to put in there? We have another one here. I think we have a clock here, I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, I don't understand the riddle. See, I want more of these jump scares. This made me poop myself. But with a good reason, not just because there is a loud noise screaming at me. Bro, I don't understand uh, the puzzle itself, I think. I have no idea how it goes. I mean, if it's like in the basement, I can understand, you know? What about upstairs, though? Also, we didn't find a single 420. Uh, we need to go check. And now get ready, there's gonna be other jump scares. Really? Is this easy? this easy to not trigger jump scares? This should be jump scares free. Uh, this is the 421 that goes to the fucking basement, you dick! Jesus Christ. But yeah, this one goes into the basement, then what? Don't really understand. But maybe we just need to do the ones into the basement, you know, the one into the clock room, maybe. Huh. 
<clears throat> I have no fucking idea. Uh, I I'm really considering searching for solutions. Because this one is right. In the right. Should be in the right place. This one should be in the right place. This one should be in the right place. Well, and then we just have two left, don't we? So. It works. How many do you have here? We have three here and all the basement is completed. Now, we can say... We can say... Hello, Mikal. Hello, dude. How's it going, man? We can say that 12.25, it's lunch time. So he goes into the lunch room, dinner room, whatever. Okay, going backwards doesn't save you from jump scares. So I suppose this goes here. Now we have 9.30. Your night and your Mikal, by the way. In the basement I counted for... You are a cunt. How's it going, night? How's it going, Mikal? <clears throat> we have one. We have two. We have three. Oh, we have four, though. Yeah, you're right. And... Oh, we are missing one here, though. And it's uh, one thirty. This is 9.30, though. So you're on Skylines. Yeah, I did a comeback on Skylines. Wanted to play a little bit. That just reminds me that I need a new computer, by the way. I want to see all this 43 mystery. We solved that one, by the way, Mikkel. We're going backward just to trigger less jump scares, because I'm really getting just annoyed by the jump this jump scare. They are slightly losing power. Five ten. Which one we were missing in the basement? I cannot even stand too many, dude. Come on. Jesus Christ. 130. Uh, maybe yes. Now we have 510. The problem is that, dude, I don't understand the reason of this riddle. Yes, by the way, yes. Uh, Ipa actually solved that riddle the first day, but I didn't understand what he was talking about. Um... We needed to switch the paintings around so the sum or subtraction of the years will be 43. I swear, the only thing it's really annoying me is this abusing of jump scares. <clears throat> it's too much, dude. Too many for no reason. Too many for no reason. I 
I think you're right in placing the clock with the same near. Yeah, those one, yes, but what about the others? I don't have any reference. The one in the kitchen. What about this one? Anyway, today is talk like a parrot day, in case you miss it here. Arr, is it? Really? Do the one that makes sense fuck the others? Uh, well... Still... I'm missing like... One? You said it was 1.30, right? We don't have that. I don't have any 130 that goes in the basement. Should we don't have any clock in here? No, we don't. It's just getting annoying. It's just getting really annoying. There makes no fucking sense to... No, no, Mikal. You will see why is not a good one. Is spamming this jump scare every two minutes. And I'm getting bored of it. It's not scary, it's just loud right now. Hmm. I wasn't... We, we can check. I'm gonna lower the audio. Because really, I'm getting annoyed by that jump scare. It's happening every two minutes, I'm sick of it. Uh, let's see. I don't know. We don't check here. And we don't have any clock here, I'm pretty sure. We don't have any clock here. Is this chat reserved for Coomers? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Ori. Uh, Ori, watch out. A lot of jump scares. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because this game is really becoming annoying. Uh, we can go check again upstairs. I don't remember actually if there was any clock. Oh, one maybe, yeah. Oh, okay. That is 1.30, right? Okay. May I really do hope it's over. I was sure there was no clock upstairs. Thank you, Fano, for making me check twice. <sighs> I also gotta go, so fuck you. Bye bye, Fano. Watch horror shit and order to get scared. I'm totally not mentally insane. No, Ori, me too. I watch horrors and play horrors to get scared. But this is getting ridiculous. You cannot place a fucking jump scare every two minutes. Because actually I was loving the game, even with the jump scares, but right now it's ridiculous, dude. Too many, too close. Too many every two minutes. That's not good. It's just stupid. Don't like it at all. Uh, what's this one? Okay.
is going on? Well, we, we did trigger. We did trigger something, but what? Okay. Okay, let's go. It's a one. It's a one. Five, seven, one. Well, now we can kind of brute force the last number, can't we? Seems like he never finished this one. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, not the concrete block. Okay. Can't put it back, though, right? Yes. There is no Talso saving, so... Well, we solved the clock riddle. Now we probably will... Probably we will have, like, um... Didn't we had, like, a... I remember. We're gonna have another... Vision. Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't take this anymore. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> this must be a combination or something. Well, this should be the combination for the last... Uh, for the safe, uh, don't. Well, let's start by going there. Backwards, so we trigger less jump scares. Or let's just trigger them. I I'm gonna lower the volume again, I'm just sick of it. Okay. Oh, are you close the room? Okay. So, how do you think it is? Uh, from out to in or in to out maybe it's one two three four five seven let's try like seven left one two three four right and one two three left Let's try seven four three. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's go. Easy. A fuck ton of money. Johnny. Johnny, yes. I'm carrying too much already. Really? Drop the armor. This game started good, but it's not continuing well. And the biggest problem still remains the jump scares. Too many.
They are over probably because of the... We solved that riddle. Yeah, fuck you. Guy? Store the armor, store the uh, crowbar, and we keep the bolt cutter. I guess. And we see what I can take. <coughs> crowbar, tape, tape, piston, tape, shovel. I am overburdened. <laughs> I find it funny, by the way, how he can carry only eight objects and one of them is a fucking concrete block. I don't like this inventory management, but... I don't even like Resident Evil inventory management. I find it annoying more than anything. Especially because you cannot drop object into the ground, you know? Put that block in his pants, yeah. Johnny... Uh, Johnny room, and... Uh, which one is Johnny's room, though? Are we gonna have some jump scares back now that we have Johnny's key? I don't even know which door it's open. It opens. This one? Yes. The block in my pants is the shit I'm having with all these jump scares. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, that's why I need a concrete. This used to be dad's room. What happened in here? <sighs> what happened, uh, my friend? Uh, uh... Okay, I guess we need to find the logic. In order to save the bird, the rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. Snake below the rat remained while the shark in the depth uh, this plan design. Did I kill a mice? A mouse by doing that? So snake this is the shark. I just move this. So I'm pretty sure the shark is the one that goes down. Do you mean to tell me you guys don't carry 30 kilos worth of concrete in your back pockets? No! I carry it into my front pocket. So for sure the shark is there and the rabbit is... Uh, the one... Flying eye, I suppose. Leaving the snake below the rat. Below is under. No, below. Unless I could find a place to take a poop. <laughs> The snake below the rabbit. No, the snake below the rat. So... Uh, this is smaller. So I'll say the snake below rat. Oh? Am I missing a concrete block or something?
I mean, the only thing I'm sure is that the rabbit and the shark, that should be... The rabbit jumping into, into the air, so the rabbit should be up, leaving all her friends behind. The shark in the depths, so the shark needs to stay down. This is the only two things I'm kinda sure. No, at this point, I'm not really sure, but we can, like, invert these two and see what happens. I think we solved it, but... Not even the last number, really. Can brute force it. So this is the book that everyone was talking about? Blue knees. You're not gonna read it? Okay. Well... A long, long time ago, there was a creature whose name was unknown. It had always lived alone and was often sea on its own. One freezing frosty night, it began... it began to feel so very somber that it fell into a two days slumber. <clears throat> By the third day, it woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both his eyes had vanished in the darkness. The creature creeped out of the bed and started crawling, looking for the eyes it knew for sure were rolling. Slit red and rolled, so his knees turned blue and sore. Since his eyes popped and tumbled, both of them are thus crumbled. It is to these days that he does have not have a clue, but that is no excuse to end the pursuit. Eyes. Now beware those flea those fleeting eyes and make sure to turn on the lights for your own sight is at stake if you cannot escape is afraid of the light use something bright for protection oh, oh what the fuck Room has changed. Hi, my name is Johnny. Good for you. of eyes in there, huh? I 
Everything changes. Holy Mary is back there. Cannot pick in here anymore. Is a, a, a human eye? I think so. This is all the shit that is in the in the other room uh, in present days, if we go, wanna call them present days. Sorry, what? <laughs> so, we just need to stay into the lights. The moment we go into darkness, we are in... I have a new friend, his name is Blue Knees. Good for you. The entire room is... Blue Knees is always in the dark, he hates the light. Uh. I'm gonna stay in the lights then. <laughs> Wasn't I in the lights? I'm really sorry. I was into the light, wasn't I? I was literally in the fucking candles. So where did we want? I think here. He did like the first one I played. Uh, 
I think I am kinda supposed to take this. Hi. I'm sorry. Uh, I am supposed to pick it. They break it or something. Hey, well, join, I guess. The story says that he's scared about the light. I'm literally in the fucking... <laughs> this game is getting worse the more I'm playing it, unfortunately. It's very unfortunate, because it started so well, I was so much into it. Now I think he's like breaking first of all, like why I'm cannot take that example. I think I am supposed to pick it. But let's keep going. One in here, don't tell me he's afraid of lights. It's already in my inventory? I don't think so. It's really annoying. Say it into the kitchen, the song. Maybe there's a specific order to go with. Maybe. <laughs> the house feels like a maze. I'm sure this is what Grandma was referring to in her diary. This is... pick it while well, I can pick I, I did pick 
the first one. Do I need just to, well, solve it or something? Keep going. He's not my friend anymore, he only wants to play with mom. Uh, shit happens, bro. Or mom is out, probably. I think that after every photo, I have some free time to so. about to come come on just pop out It up. It's weird. I, I can pick up the first one. Why not this one? Um, go here. Maybe there's an order. Maybe. Oh, we are back here, okay. Pick up this one now. Oh, what are the eyes for? I'm gonna show you in a second if blue knees can just come. Um, we need to use them in, a, in the starting room of this floor. Just come. 
But basically, uh, where we were reading the book, you know, where we read the story of Blue Knees, there is a hole that apparently we need to drop a lot of eyes in there. And I don't understand why though, some of these vinyls simply don't work. They pop an eye out, but you cannot pick it. Like this one, I cannot pick it. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm kinda lost, if I want to be honest. Nothing to be near. I'm gonna go back into the main room, basically. It would be here. Not super sure. So Grandma wasn't sick at all. This thing is what really killed her. I cannot move. Okay, now I can. Mandatory? I think it's mandatory. Yeah, it was mandatory. Death. death. Okay. Uh, I know where to go. I cannot use the camera right now. Oh, yeah. Ma cosa accendere? Mi sa che si fulmina. Ah? Non ho dimenticato. Ciao, mio amore. Mua! Per quanto mangiamo? Uh, non lo so cosa vuoi mangiare. Ah, è vero. In teoria credo di star finendo il gioco. Di... <ride> Quanto ci metti a cucinarlo? 18.29. Vabbè, male che vada me lo. Oh, who's there? Buffer! Spicy Goodness, had no, I known no, you would no. be so sumptuous, Another I might have preened. Care, Care for a, for a drink. drink? Hello, Buffer. No, by the way, Adisa, aka Critical, today is gonna do some ramen. Buffer, grazie del ride. Ciao, Garo, come stai? You came probably just in time. Uh, probably just in time for the end of the game. Not sure. <laughs> And you missed the shittiest part. Oh no, mi spiace. Ciao Buffer, grazie del ride, caro. Buon lavoro. Okay. I won't do that. <laughs> Raymond. Mm, I'm full. I'm furious. Because I had homemade ramen. 
Only once. Okay. You are leading me where I need to go, okay. Okay, I wanna go into the kitchen then. Are you gonna jump scare me or something? No, it's a waste of time. <laughs> the easy, fast, cheap version? You mean like the ready-to-go Rayman? The one that you just put hot water and eat? No. <clears throat> Not so cheap version then. <laughs> That is grandma. <laughs> there we are, guys. <laughs> This is what we were waiting for. Five, seven, one. Elizabeth Maxwell. <coughs> oh, what? Oh, no, really? Need to put something there. Something that we... Or do we have here? Or it's our head?
the demon is inside us now. We completed the ritual. We were the last part missing. it also not especially through the end I was kind of annoyed but uh, let's uh, wait for the end of the credits <clears throat> this game was made by only one person basically other than the translation, as you've read... Most of the game was made by just one person. Any extra credit scene? Final jump scare? And lower the volume, just to be sure. 